in 2017, we will be moving from this building to a new building that will be able to hold all of us because right now this building is kind of small. I have seen the building that is at 222. It looked really old and run down. I'm guessing it's gonna look a lot better than it does now. It looked kind of like a prison because of the little windows <laughs> that they had. It has a lot of potential, but I can see like a house for students that they want to learn, a building that can give all the resources for good teaching and safe for the students also. The first thing that 222 is going to offer us is more space because there's only three floors on this building and I know there's going to be seven floors in 222. I did my undergrad um, in chemistry, and so science is really important to me, especially with students of color and, and women um, who are minorities in STEM fields already. With the short amount of time that we were given to renovate this building, we didn't really have the time to build proper lab space for the sciences. With the time to be able to renovate 222 as a full school, we're going to have wonderful equipment for our students to be able to learn and hopefully become passionate about the sciences. Premium. My expectation is that we're going to have more clubs, first of all. More room to study. We're going to have more sports. We'll be able to have track. More quiet areas. Better PE classes. Better cafeterias. The building is taller, so there are going to be a lot more steps to climb because they don't let us use the elevator. And more after-school activities. So I'm pretty um, happy about that. We're going to have great space and give our students every opportunity that they deserve. Jesuits have a phrase, men and women for others. And it's really about what you're doing for the community. And so it's not just about creating students who are going to be able to go to college and do well in life. We are looking to create students who are going to care for their communities and for the planet and for anyone that they come into contact with.